Um, I sat with Mark earlier watching um, something called um, hmm, it's a new detective series set in Aberdeen called Concrete Something, I think. And I sort of said, okay, well, I'll sit and I'll sit and watch it with you. I'm putting hand cream on, by the way. I was doing this earlier in a vlog. You must have wondered what I was doing. I'm putting hand cream on. Um, I said, okay, I'll sit and watch with you, but I know that I'll get annoyed, or I'm probably going to get annoyed. And um, and and what I find in these new, um, there's quite a lot of detective series coming out of Scotland. It's lovely to see all the scenery, um, but what I find is the the characters. Um, you, you know the opening um, scenes or the opening episode all the characters look like they've turned up to work on their first day and are all smartly dressed in new clothes all of them it it just really irritates me I might have said it before that you know I'd like to see people looking real well you know that I like real not fake and this all looks so fake um, and they're all smartly dressed in brand new clothes. And in, in this um, program, even the protesters were all dressed in smart clothes, new clothes. The people, like the extras at, at, the, at the protest, the extras in the pub, all dressed in smart clothes. It's like, why? Why do wardrobe masters and mistresses do that now nowadays? It's probably cheaper. It's probably cheaper to buy new clothes than to do what they used to do, which was make clothes and repair clothes and or make clothes and then and, and weather them. I say weather because that's the word that Mark uses for. No, I'm not talking to you, and it isn't bedtime, and I'm not giving you anything yet, so you can moan at me all you like, or look at me that way, um, because that's what Mark when he um makes his models you know he makes it the models and he makes them look used makes them so he calls it weathering uh, aging you know you're aging stuff and and um and they don't do all any of that so i can remember i can remember six years ago um when we were collecting clothes for um refugees that that one of um my lovely supporters um and friends um gave us a load of clothes and shoes that were almost new and uh, I think her son is a wardrobe master and it's quite likely and I think that they came from there so there was some almost new stuff that had come was was surplus after or it was left over after a production and I think that's the other thing is that um, it's quite likely that the clothes are used for that particular production and then are not used again whereas if they were used again they would start to tone down they would start to age and and wear um and the problem as you can hear is that that gets in the way of my enjoyment because i sit looking at it thinking it's not real you know people don't walk around dressed like that when they're when they're at work um and they all look yet yeah, so they all look like they're at school on their first day or or at work on their first day so that irritates me it's minus five outside and um we've got milder weather coming in tomorrow thank goodness because it um i know that you know it's winter and we're meant to have cold weather but this has been odd i, I don't think we've had we've not had weather like this in in other winters recently we haven't had this sort of cold weather so it, it's odd and because we've not really been anywhere, today has felt like a Sunday. Yesterday, half of it felt like a Saturday. Don't know what tomorrow's gonna feel like. Um, we um, had some of the tagine today, and that was really nice, tasted nice. Um, I did have to add salt to mine. He didn't add salt to his and said it tasted nice, but I wouldn't have been able to taste it without the salt. So that was nice, and there's plenty, plenty left for Christmas. I served it up with celeriac chips, which isn't what you're meant to say. It's got couscous in it, so it's not like you can serve it with couscous because there's actually couscous in the meat dish itself. Um, otherwise, I would have done couscous. Um, but 
I did it with celeriac chips because there was celeriac in the fridge that had been there a while that I needed to use. I thought, oh, I'll just use that. So we had a few, I mean, it didn't need, it didn't really need anything with it. It was fine as it was, but um, I thought I needed to use the celeriac up. So I did, I did that in the air fryer. And condabitude is something else I was going to say, and I can't remember what it was. Oh, I know, I can remember. Look at that. Amazing. I was watching, um, I was watching my son's latest vlog um and was looking at how many subscribers he's got and he's got 107,000 um subscribers and thinking um how well he's done without a leg up from um um chateau the chateau verse i'm really proud of him i'm really pleased that he has got to where he has um on his own, you know, without a leg up from anybody. And um, 107,000 subscribers, that's really good, Philip. Well done. And anybody that doesn't know who my son is, is Tom Lee RC. And um, his latest vlog has, um, uh, he has a, it, I don't know, he didn't mention sponsored, but it does certainly have an adver ad advertising in it for a computer game. Um, and I think he's done it really well. <laughs> He's done it really well. He's got he's got such a sense of humour. Um, he he always has had a sense of humour, and he uses it well in this in his latest vlog. So if um, if you can put up with um, uh, a genre that you're not really interested in, um, go and have a look at Tom Lee RC, um, and you'll see what I mean. So that's what I was going to mention. Um, yeah, tomorrow. Don't know what we're going to do tomorrow. Same as we didn't do today, I suppose. Mark's just bought in a whole load of wood. Um, if he doesn't keep an eye on it, it ends up running out at night. So he has to go out there at 10 o'clock in the evening and load it in. There's a massive log on there. If I'm the first one up in the morning, there's no way that I'll be able to lift it onto the fire. I'm going to get him to lift it off onto that shelf and then um, see if there's some smaller logs. Although just lately I haven't been the first one up because I'm not really doing well at night and not having a good night's sleep. So by the time I do eventually drop off again, I'm late getting up and he's getting up before me. And it never was that way around. It's really odd. I'm drinking um, crushed ice in, in water. I find it more thirst quenching. The problem is it gets stuck in the glass and then you go and tip it in and then you get a whole face full of ice. Um, but yeah. Minus 5.2, still dropping, still falling. Now that's fallen lower than it was meant to. Forecast didn't say that. But in here is 22 and a half. All the shutters are closed. Um, so it's very comfortable. There's a pussycat waiting to go to bed. It's 11 o'clock. And um, she gets some meat or she, some wet food or she gets a few dry treats. And then she prances up the stairs with us like she's, you know, we're all going to bed or she tries to corral us up the stairs or she goes ahead of us and sits with her back to us waiting for us to follow. And then she hobble, hobbles down to the bathroom. Um, there's this whole ritual and she knows that she doesn't come in the bedroom. But she sort of looks sometimes, she's outside the bedroom sort of thinking she might get in. But it's a long time since she's managed to get into the bedroom. It's quite funny, really. Yeah, so that's today. And sorry you didn't get your picture delivered today, Isabel. That's not good at all. Um, yeah, that, that's not really good. It was due to be delivered today, but um, it hasn't been, which is disappointing. Oh, and I sent sent you an email, Jules, just to let you know I'm sending laundry. Sending the laundry over for you. Um Thank you. I think I've been trying to work out. I think I think your mail. Thank you, Mr. Rex. For your kind comments and your support. I'll wear it always. And Comtesse Rose. Um, yeah, thank you. And um, I'm going to see about. No, I'm not. That's it. I'm stopping there. I'm stopping there before I get silly. OK, bye.